I saw recently uh, on the internet where this football player is the uh, legend to be celebrated. Absolutely. And um, I find it very curious because not so long ago, a uh, homosexual uh, said that he hadn't uh, he had been celebrated for 25 years or something like that. And then somebody in Hollywood or several in Hollywood were boasting that they are virgins. And um, these basically are not social values, these are religious values, these are things that are important between an individual and his or her So why are they telling us about this? Now look at this football player. Um, he's exposing himself to serious hurt, maybe he could even die. And he is dishing out similar to others. I mean, what's the point? I mean, God says thou shalt not kill. He says also thou shalt not commit adultery. I can see if he should have been married and had some kids. Um, what might have also been helpful is that if he had never, you know, um, been engaged in fornication or illicit sex. Um, what about masturbation? Is that okay? What about uh, porn? Um, what about um, other things like that? I think uh, what society would like to hear is that Here's the guy that is intelligent, here's the guy that is helping out the community, here's the guy that is uh, making peace in the world. I mean, uh, those are things that we could deal with, but we can't verify whether he's abstinent or not. Um, we can't verify whether this may be the origin or not, because, you know, people could uh, have sex and, and get the high mentally attached. So, um, I, I think that um, basically, um, you know, I'm not impressed. In fact, um, if nuns and priests were to talk in terms of celibacy and abstinence and virginity, it, it might mean something that might be of more interest. But, I mean, who can do that? Who can prove that? You know what I mean? Um, you know, I, we even can go there with that conversation. But one thing is that um, those are values that um, God is the one. Because, you see, uh, uh, does that make somebody good? You're a virgin, you're abstinent, does that make you go to heaven? Um, what, what's the point? Um, these are things that might be useful for folks that are going to heaven. But as a side issue, the real issue is, you know, um, a relationship with God. And um, just in the Jews who were boasting of their various um, deeds and so on, um, you know, God several times showed them that it's not about that, it's about the relationship with me. So, a uh, nice try for both here. I think that, um, you know, I mean, if there's any virtue to be after that, God is the one who gave it. And um, I don't know why you tell us about this. Uh, maybe, um, I, I don't know what, what office or what job you can get for being abstinent. Um, I, I don't want you to be a sex counselor or, or counseling youth how to live and so on. Um, because, I mean, you know, you're for both here. Um, you know, so, uh, what do you think? You think that uh, we ought to hear people in the sexual uh, exploits or non-exploits or whatever, valiance, 